Hello. Welcome to the library. My name is Denise Garofalo, the librarian assigned to the School of Nursing, and I'm here to give you an orientation to the resources and services of the library. We're going to talk about general library information, give you an introduction to your digital resources, and then focus on specific nursing and research resources. So first, general library information. You can find the library webpage from right within the Mount St. Mary College portal. As you can see, there's an icon for the library, and when you click on that icon, it will bring you right to the library webpage. Once you're at the library webpage, there are links to a variety of resources that you may find useful, including links to databases, how to get some research help, the services the library offers, and help with things such as printing. If you're looking for databases, databases the Find Information links will give you the most assistance there. When you click there, you'll find the link to the library catalog, a list of all the databases the library subscribes to, how to find full text in those databases, links to course reserves. These are there if your professor has placed a particular book, video, or ebook on reserve that you need to look at, links to get interlibrary loan articles and materials, and so much more. Another link that you may find of interest is our research link. When you click there, you'll find research assistance in getting started in your research, how to cite your sources, how to contact librarians for assistance, identifying scholarly articles, how to evaluate your resources, avoiding plagiarism, the steps in involved in the research process, and how to find information by subject. Services is again another area of the library webpage that you may find helpful. When you click on services, you'll be led to links such as the Newburgh Library Cooperative, which allows you with your Mount St. Mary College ID card to access the Newburgh Free Library or the SUNY Orange Library. How to borrow library materials from the library. There's information on the study rooms available and how to reserve them. And if there's materials that you'd like the library to purchase, you can click select to purchase, suggest a purchase, and we will take that into consideration. If you're interested in when the library is open or what events there might be, or just, or just other information about the library, you can click on these links. And you can find out when the library's physical building is open, a map to the campus and directions, directory of the staff of the library, information about the mission and vision, policies of the library, and then a layout of the floor plan so you can see where different study rooms and study areas are located. And if you need some help, the help section is there for you as well. Here you'll find information about the information desk where we have librarians available, printing questions, how to access databases from off campus. We have information on all the power outlets that are in the library, our personal librarian program, if you'd like to give us some feedback, and then a link to the writing center. If you have questions, questions as you can see, we have an Ask a Librarian link that will get you a quick for completing a question to a librarian. As far as our digital resources, you'll see that there are general databases available under the Articles and Databases link under Find Information. There it gives you choices of a list of databases alphabetical from A to Z, a link of databases by subject, if you want to find a full text article, and then information about off-campus 
access to our databases. If you find an article and it's not in one of our library research databases, then you can request it using our interlibrary loan service. And other digital resources that we have include streaming video and more. For resources that the library databases don't have, you can complete this request form. And for articles, which is mostly what you'd be requesting, when you enter the information of the journal title, the article title, the year, page numbers, and your personal information will be pre-populated in the form, you click request, and in a few days you'll have an email that will include the full text article that you requested. Now we have nursing specific resources geared to support you while you are in this program. To locate this nursing research guide, if you click the drop down menu under research, the bottom is a link to find information by sub, and you'll see this listing of different subject areas. Click on the nursing link, and it will bring you to the research guide for nursing. And on this screen, it also gives you the direct URL that will bring you to this guide. Once there, there's certain things that you should be aware of. There's a link back up at the top to the library webpage, so you, so you always are just one click away from the library webpage. On this landing page, you'll see contact the librarian, and there's a link to my email, as well as you can see my email address. And citation and research help is another area that besides the databases that are here on the landing page that you may be interested in. The three main research databases that generally you're directed to use are CINAHL, as you can see circled here on the top, ProQuest Nursing and Allied Health, the second database, and then PubMed. If you have questions about citing your sources, there's a whole section on citation assistance under citation and research help. You click there, there's various resources, but in specific there's a page on APA citation style. When you, you will see that there's different boxes. The one section that I want to point you to is the APA style blog. This will be very useful to you as it is a searchable index to the APA citation book um, and whether you're using the 6th edition or the 7th edition this will bring you to the right resources for helping you cite your source. If at any time you need assistance please do not hesitate to email me. Email is the best way to reach me. My email address is displayed there. Click on it. Send me an email. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now to review, there was an introduction to the library website, an overview of the digital resources the library has, and then specific nursing and research resources to support you in this program. If you have any questions, email me. My email address is displaying on the screen, and I want to thank you for your time and attention in going through this orientation.